Hello and welcome to this new video which I'm going to show you how to run the auto correction test by Erwin Watson the third. So Erwin Watson has used to uh, test for auto correction of error term in uh, regression estimated by uh, ordinary at least for in general. So uh, uh, auto correction test is very important in the manner that uh, when the error are auto correlated, uh, we need to correct that, that because uh, auto correlation, non auto correlation is one of the hypotheses that uh, is uh, hiding behind uh, linear regression alongside of uh, normality as well as uh, elasticity. So uh, it's important to uh, check for non auto correlation before validating a model, uh, a ordinary square, in, in, in the case which uh, error term are not uh, autocorrelated, uh, auto we need to uh, correct that using the generalized list square that you can find. Uh, a video here, and it's the first time you are watching one of my videos, do not hesitate to subscribe and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next publication. And do let the thumbs up, it will be a pleasure to know that all you are making a uh, happy new improve your 11 in statistical model for social sciences. So, coming back into our auto correlation test, our first step uh, is, will be to estimate our regression model. Uh, by the way, our database is a macroeconomic uh, data set uh, containing information on GDP, uh, gross fixed capital formation, the percentage of GDP, uh, general government final production expenditure, variable like uh, general government investment. So, we, uh, first of all, run our linear equation by this square using uh, all those variables using the command regress so we will uh, use regress followed by dependent variable which is here gtp uh, gross fixed capital formation we have uh, we include uh, uh, general government final consumption expenditure as well as uh, general government investment so we then click on ok and you can see that the result of our regression model are being generated so the next step is to uh, define our data set to be a time series because Durbin Watson is a uh, autocorrelation test. Uh, that means there is, uh, there is uh, that is to test the relationship among error term in a year with, uh, on the previous year. So we need to define our data set to be a time series. So we need to just use the command TS set followed by the name of our time variable, which is uh, by the, uh, in this case here. We then click on OK and we can see that our uh, variable as a time variable has been defined as here from 1982 to 2018. So uh, the last step is just to uh, but, uh, to is just to calculate our Durbin Watson statistics and compare to the threshold statistics of Durbin Watson. So uh, we have uh, to uh, use the command uh, DW uh, DW for Durbin Watson DW followed by uh, stats. So DW stats and then click on OK and you can see that the Derby Watson statistic has been generated. And we have here the degree of freedom that are represented by the number of parameters that are estimated for and the number of time observation that is uh, 37. So in our Derby Watson table that is here, we have uh, in line, in column, we have the uh, number of parameters. In this case, we have four parameters and the uh, number of observations is 37. So we are here, we are here. So our DU statistics uh, threshold is 1.72. Uh, uh, and our David Watson, uh, we have the correlation in the case in which we uh, 
our variable du, our uh, double mass of that is between du and 4 minus du. So we have uh, a uh, non the correlation in the case of uh, our double mass of that is between du and 4 minus du and uh, uh, Autocorrelation elsewhere. So we have our Devin Watson, which is less than DU, 0 for our Devin Watson statistic is 0 0.65, which is less than DU, DU here in our Devin Watson uh, test is 1.72. So our Devin Watson statistic is less than DU, meaning that our error term is. Uh, Autocorrelated, so it means that uh, we cannot uh, interpret our method, our estimation uh, using our ordinary So You just use generalized least square that you can discover in this uh, video right on the top of this video. So, uh, if you have not done so, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell in order to lose the next uh, next. Uh, video and uh, anytime soon.